Hey Virgo, welcome back to another reading. Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and do subscribe if you want to get a personal reading or purchase any of my other readings. There is a link in the description box below the video. Go check out all the links, you guys. Go check out all the links. All right, let's get into this reading, right? So I was shuffling, two cards fell out. Uh, right before I hit the start button here. So you have the five of swords and the five of cups. So Virgo, it feels like you, I feel like you, you just gave someone the, nope, not today, Satan. That's what you did. You crushed somebody here. You crushed someone. <clears throat> Two fives. Definitely unmanageable energy, uncertainty, um, due to uncertainty. You put the kibosh down on a person, place, or thing, okay? Yes, you did. And this, like, did it quick. Did it quick. And this person is absolutely crushed. And and the, the crush, like, the fact that they got put in their place, keep his arrows. It's like, oh, I think I'm in love. Oh, I think I'm in love. Virgo's not a doormat. Oh, I think I'm in love. Oh my God. Virgo put me in my place. Totally crushed me. So you must be dealing with a very alpha kind of energy from someone. Or you were, or you are currently. You stood up. You stood up to somebody here. You crushed the F out of somebody here. And they are like in dreamland, in dream world. <laughs> okay because <laughs> Virgo can crush Virgo's got like a tongue of a sword tongue so you you said something or you did something and this person is like wagging their tongue at you yep look at that six of wands this person holds you in high regard because you you cut something off or you broke like the three of swords this guy here is holding the three of swords you 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 broke something you you said something you ended something you crushed somebody um with your words it hurt them emotionally it hurt them however it's it left an impression on this person that's what i feel it left an impression in the sense that you're a real they just gave me the word superhero you're a superhero because you were truthful and you were honest you know the five of swords can be kind of like a bullying kind of thing but i don't i don't feel like i don't feel like you have that bullying nature i just feel like you're a truth seeker and a truth teller Okay, so I don't feel like your intention was to like really hurt someone, but I feel like it was to get the point across. You got some kind of point across. And even though the five of cups is here, which a five can uh, represent, ooh, like I said, unmanageability or uncertainty or conflict, this person is conflicted in their heart. I feel like at first by what you said, but right, they turn around, here's two cups, and now they're like, oh, actually, Virgo was right about that, and, and, and Virgo told me the truth because Virgo loved me. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you get my, do you, are you jiving with me here, Virgo? So I feel like this person, that whatever you said or whatever you did to cut something off is actually longing for you here now, okay? They are. They're, they're actually like infatuated with you or just like, uh, how can I even say this? Like, I'm, why am I stumbling over my words? <laughs> they're, they're coming in to make like, they're going to make some changes. They're making changes. Okay, let me just move on here. Let me just move on. Look, two cups. I'm telling you, Virgo, this person loves you for that. Loves you for standing your ground loves you for standing up to them they respect you and and in order to be with you they got to understand that and i feel like they understand this okay you you and this person there's going to be a like a, a coming together this person has a lot of regret i will tell you that they're they're feeling the loss the grief 
you know they felt um, abandoned they felt unloved but that's i don't feel like that's where it was coming from from you okay i feel like for you you got the nine of wands here i feel like for you you just were like you know what i need to maintain some boundaries here i need to persistent be persistent i've been hurt i'm not going down that road anymore i need to tell the truth and i'm telling the truth and if they don't like it that's not my problem because i need to protect myself here okay i got it look nobody's nobody's uh coming in with a, a sword and stand on my door unless i'm paying someone to be a bodyguard no one's protecting me in this world except me it's me and god that's it god so i feel like you're fighting for yourself <clears throat> and you're being honest and truthful and this person like i said they felt that loss they felt that hurt they did but i mean hey <clears throat> they're big people they can get over it they can deal with it everybody hurts at times <laughs> You know, sometimes truths come out and they can be hurtful, but I feel like you might have delivered the truth in a particular way that wasn't intended to hurt this. Now you might be dealing with someone who's extremely sensitive or maybe not. I don't know. I mean, or you're dealing with someone who's very alpha, but whatever the issue is, I feel like this person gets over their hurt. They get over the loss and they're like, they heal up the emotions here. And then it's like, wow, Virgo was right. And it's just this newfound respect for you. This newfound respect, this newfound... Um, I feel like this person needed you to do this. I feel like they needed you to do this. Now, if you haven't done this yet, they need you to do it. They need you to put them in their place. They need you to stand up for yourself and stand your ground because they need you to respect yourself if you haven't done this yet. They need you to not chase them. They need you to not um, be in this like self-pitying or victim mentality. They need you to stand up and fight because that confidence, I'm telling you, once you do that, it's pretty like, oh, 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 this is my, that Virgo is for me. Yep, and things start turning around. Things start changing. And for the better, turning point happens. Okay, yeah. And, and, and you're, if you haven't done it yet, your crushing them is going to cause them to fall for you even more. Oh, gosh. The King of Cups keeps showing up. Y'all, I don't know. You might be dealing with a water sign. It was earlier. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But it does not have to be. Let me put that out there. It could be any sign. But the King of Cups as an energy is showing up here as someone who's um, very much in their deep feels very much in their deep deep feels wants to be with you wants to um reconcile very loving and caring showing up here the energy whatever sign they are it doesn't matter um listen virgo i feel like whatever the issue is or was with this person i don't care how nice they are i don't care how sweet they are or any of that stuff or however they come across if you haven't set your boundaries for yourself with anybody, with, with, with angels and devils, you have to do that for yourself. You have to do that for yourself. Because I feel like in dealing with someone here, you needed to or do need to crush this person for disrespecting your boundaries. Now, if you didn't have any, putting them up all by themselves is going to crush them. Because people don't like that they can't take advantage of you. <laughs> they don't like that. And if you feel like someone's taking advantage of you. Yeah, you're breaking an ego here. You're breaking somebody's ego here. And their ego, look. A lightning bolt to the head, right? To the ego. Big time. But then this person also is aroused fully by this... Um, I don't feel like it's game playing. I just feel like it's, well, maybe like in a little bit, but not to be manipulative. It's just more like, Virgo, I see your energy being in this place of like, you know, it would be great if, if you and I could be together, but I don't need you. I could do great all by myself. 
it's that energy that's very attractive to this person right you crushing them <laughs> the three of swords is it causing this person to fall for you okay yeah that's just it that's just it i mean there's not that much more to this message except for that so when i say crush like do not put your foot on this person's neck okay that's not what i'm talking about when i say crush you're breaking their crush or they have a crush on you when i say crush it's like you're keeping it real it's not crushing to like it's not crush to kill okay or unalive as they say these days it's more or less like <clears throat> crushing the ego is what i'm feeling it's crushing the ego yeah and so here they are like oh my god actually actually yeah that that was a shot virgo took a shot but damn that's sexy damn that's hot what i didn't know virgo had it in him or in her I didn't know. I didn't realize. Where'd this come from? Holy shit, where did this come from? This is not the Virgo I've been dealing with. Where did this come from? Yep. Very curious about you. Watching you. What? Spying on you. After the crushing. <laughs> after the crushing. Falling for you. Definitely. Listen. Virgo may be getting a little nasty nasty, but you're also like, I don't want you. I don't want this. No. Oh, I'll, I'll think about it. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. And it's not to be punishing, but it's just like taking care of yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I kind of like the energy. I like it because, not because you're hurting somebody. I don't like that. Sometimes people get hurt inadvertently due to uh, you standing up for yourself, you know? I mean, that, you can't, like, if, unless you're codependent, that's not your problem. If people don't like where you set your fence too bad <laughs> too bad that's where my fence and it's on my property line and it's just and it's it's regular it's i'm following regulations and my fence is as high as it needs to be and it's keeping you out because you don't need to be up in my business all the time especially if there's no relationship or there's nothing going on here you know fences make great neighbors <laughs> i would say that maybe you're dealing with a neighbor it's not crushed to hurt it's it's just like listen I'm centered. This is as far as you can come. You want to get into my inner circle? You're going to have to act right. Do you know what I mean? So I kind of feel like that's your energy. Right. So get a couple of charms. Ooh. The dragonfly. Oh, yeah. A little teddy bear with a flower. Wow. <laughs> What was the what was the bear joke? What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> I have like I'm not sick anymore, thank God. All right, and you get some grapes. Okay, so a bunch of grapes. Oh, I just where'd that go? I didn't even see it was in my hand. And you got a cherry and a blue bow tie. Okay, so we got cherries. Virgo. Virgo. The first thing I just saw. All right, so cherry or cherries. Oh, Virgo's got a set of balls. Virgo, you got a set of balls? What are you doing? <laughs> All right, so um, this teddy bear, um, I feel like maybe your person is like a teddy bear. <laughs> I don't know what that means. They, so they bring you a gift, like a teddy bear, little teddy bear gift. Yep, I feel like this person is going to bring you a gift with a little flower peace offering they're saying peace offering okay yes dragonfly is change this is um new beginnings absolutely new beginnings with the dragonfly and and i'm, I'm seeing a dragonfly and i'm feeling um oh how, okay give me a sec direct they're saying direct purposeful flight direct purposeful flight dragonflies don't rush into things they're direct but they're purposeful in their flight okay i don't know what that means i mean i guess i could figure it out but that's a message for somebody and also the grapes here maybe you're eating a bunch of grapes or somebody might play pool like like pool billiards do something with we got a lot of balls some fruit going on here somebody might, maybe plays pool yes and there's a blue ribbon here um 
So somebody wears a ribbon for a cause. Perhaps it's light blue. Uh, something here to do with like wearing a ribbon for a cause. I don't know what the blue ribbon stands for and I know that's not it could be any ribbon but I feel like somebody where it doesn't have to be blue but I do feel like somebody wears a ribbon for a cause or there may be a connection to a an infant connection there's a connection to an infant could be involved in this story and somehow in some way all right I'm going to leave that there again peruse the description box below this video check out all my links if you want to get a personal reading right there's a link there in the description box as well don't forget smash that like button you guys hit that like button because that gets the video out to more people that you know share it if you think anybody needs to hear this and uh yeah i will see you guys back here later this evening take care bye Yeah.